Meanwhile, aboard the Cajun Queen, Pierre LeBlanc, known by his fellow anglers as Scaly Pete. Daddy hunted sharks. I hunt sharks. It's in the blood. There was somebody better at this, you'd be following down, yeah? Oh, people, we got a lot of wrong ideas about sharks. Scientists say we gotta coexist. Now, how you gonna coexist with that shark? Shark just wanna do one thing. That's kill you, eat you, and you out. What I do, I consider a sacred honor. Kill them all if I could. Too bad, and for 24 hours to a day. Shark spotted in Fatik Bay. Huh. Several deaths reported. Shark can be identified by rusty harpoon embedded in flank. Get the f out of my way. Got a job to do. This is an adult bull shark. Fast, fierce, and armed quite literally to the teeth, she has little to fear here in the Gulf. The muscular marvel confidently moves through its watery world. Predators' 350 fearsome teeth are put on full display. Exhibiting behavior more common to a fresher shark, this bull makes creative use of her powerful tail. A shark fin is a sinister reminder to humans that the ocean remains a wild and untamed domain. The bull performs an acrobatic feat worthy of an orca, cruelly imprisoned and put on display in a marine park stunt show. The big fish plunges to the ocean below. The bull's speed is astounding for a large marine predator. Reaching shark is a rare and calorie intensive spectacle.
don't generally care just how much your slip rate costs. Oh my god! Emphasize that this sort of targeted violence is quite unusual for a shark. That shark is a good work on their nose. Go get him, champ. Dinner coming, boys. Let's get her up on deck, huh? On board the Cajun crew, Scaly Pete looks over the catch of the day. Yeah, this my daddy's on, all right. This ain't D Shark. Not the one I was looking for. How do you know? How I know? Not big enough. This look like a mega to you. Oh, oh look here. She's on for me. Hello! <laughs> Are you mama in there? So I can identify her. Next time I see her, when I spear her. The tiny pup responds with an instinct for survival. You'll never want to turn off that camera.
A famous big game hunter once posited that after an animal had tasted human flesh, it forsakes its natural prey in a deadly single-minded search for the most dangerous game. Remember, when planning a cemetery, try to avoid high-risk coastal areas. The shark uses lipids from high-fat fare like this to help fuel her reign of terror. The shark returns to the grotto to focus on personal transformation. Exhibiting behavior more common to whales and dolphins, this shark is able to use biosonar to locate potential prey.
or muskie is a freshwater fish currently found throughout the Great Lakes region, so I have no idea what it's doing here. stoppers at home and let me tell you those things are just a magnet for hair and debris by giant catfish than sharks, such as the Amazon Basin or Splash Mania Water Park in Garland, Texas. The appetite of this shark is nearly insatiable. Keystone predators has led to a super abundance of catfish, which is just fine by local bully Rosie the Alligator. Content to dine on whatever wastes fall to the ocean floor.
bull shark is an animal of broad dietary proclivities. This shark understands that she needs to eat essential minerals to stay healthy and grow. buy sunshine sunscreen until I read it contains seven hormone disrupting chemicals and palm oil. should expect much angst, ennui, and poor decision-making. often suffer from poor ice and are quite sensitive to light.
The shark's sole aim is to eat and evolve. Remember, if you find yourself hard aground, the best thing to do is stay with your canoe and die the death of an honorable seaman. As a result of industrial pollution and sewage wastewater, Dead Horse Lake was designated a Superfund site in 1996. Fish are bottom feeders, so in eating them, sharks consume quite a variety of revolting and unmentionable things.
Even for sharks, it's important to create personal time for sober self-reflection. What kind of regular dad from Mingo Joe's? People say it's a tourist trap. But it's the only plate to get a decent Cesarec that don't have me on their do not serve list. Quite a strange conglomeration of stuff will end up in the stomachs of sharks. Shark versus dolphin. Orca versus giant squid. Boat versus pylon. When establishing dominance, the contest is usually a deadly one, with survival as the prize. Clovis retaliates against the shark by sending some of its most disreputable citizens. The Scourge of the Swampland, Bayou Willie. are getting heated in this war of attrition between man and nature. <laughs> By putting sharks in their place, hunters ensure they'll stay in their lane, so we don't have a Planet of the Apes situation on our hands. Regular there from Ingle Joe's. He 
people say it's a tourist trap. But it's the only plague to get a decent Cesarec that don't have me on their do not serve list. The shark returns once again to her safe haven. With little fanfare, another bounty hunt comes to a close.